All right, you guys, so let's go right in and we're gonna start sectioning off the hair in four sections. Two in the front, one minor one in the back, and one large one on the bottom of the back. And we're gonna start putting it in rollers. Once you get it in rollers, we're gonna prepare some boiled water and an ice bath. Take your freshly boiled water and dip the wig right into it. Don't put it in there for too long, just a couple seconds. Then put it right into the ice bath. Put it on a towel and try to drain most of the water and let it dry overnight. After it's dry, go ahead and pull out the curls and they should be really pretty tight curls if you have the small rollers like I do. Be sure to keep it in the sections we created earlier. Alright, now we're going to separate the curls, so just brush a wide tooth comb through them. We're starting with that top minor section to tease it so that it can be the base of the wig shape. After teasing a little bit, start to tease with a combination of spraying it with your got-to-be glued free spray. This is where bobby pins become your best friend. Now that we've got the overall volume and definition, we need to start making the actual shape of Winifred's hair. We're going to use a combination of spraying with hairspray and um, blow drying so that we get that insta-freeze tight hold. Now we're going to separate the curls from the bottom and we're going to start to wrap it around the hair. Any pattern is fine. Alright, after that's all wrapped, we're going to take the front areas and this is where it becomes important to get nice and neat. You're going to want it to come sort of radiating from um, the hairline so that it looks nice and just the way that she looks in Hocus Pocus. Now I decided at first to leave some little curls hanging down just because she has some scenes in the movie where she looks like that, but you'll see later that I decided against this. So I brushed the curls back and now we're going to do a few thin layers of hairspray, about 10, just so you get the tight hold. So now we're starting on the necklace. You're going to need wire, various shot sizes, and some beads, and a round shape. So now around the round shape we're going to take a um, thicker wire just to give it some density. We're going to wrap the end of the wire around something to make it um, spiral and then we're gonna stick a bead through the end of that spiral now we're gonna take some wire with a bead through it a larger bead and we're going to just kind of secure that on there by wrapping it around you're gonna make some spiral beads the same way that we made the spiral around um, the actual round piece you're gonna need a few of those and we're gonna take some spiral beads and put it around and make these little round shapes that Winifred has around her amulet we're also gonna wrap some wire around some beads because she's got two beads that are wrapped with wire string them onto the wire and put a wire bead in between each bead that you put
Alrighty, now we're going to attach a jump ring to one side of the wire that we beaded all the beads through, and then we're going to put a lobster claw on the other side, and you just twist it right on. Now that's your finished necklace, and it looks pretty accurate to the movie. Alright you guys, and that is it. If you want to see how I did the makeup, go ahead and check out the video that came out right before this. If you end up doing this cosplay or wearing it for Halloween, send me a picture. Johnny.